So last week, 186 members of this House and 39 senators from the Senate filed an amicus brief. We filed it before the Supreme Court in this very case that's being discussed, U.S. versus Texas. But we filed it without using taxpayer dollars. We filed it individually, separately from our official duty. The brief that we submitted supports the actions which President Obama took because he is our nation's chief executive. And he has the right to try to make our laws work as best possible. And in the case of our immigration laws, everyone agrees that they are broken, they are fractured, and it's a system that does not wor work coherently. There are more than four million people who will be impacted by the decision that the Supreme Court reaches in the case of U.S. versus Texas. President Obama took his actions exercising his authority under the Constitution to execute and implement the laws of the land. So here we are today, Speaker Ryan and my colleagues on the House side, on the Republican side, will force this House to vote on a resolution authorizing the House to file a similar type of amicus brief, albeit in this case opposing the President's position in the case of U.S. versus Texas. But there's a big difference between the, the amicus brief that was filed by 186 members of this House and 39 members in the Senate, and what the Republican majority in the House is intending to do today. Big difference. They are looking to use taxpayer money to push forward their political partisan agenda and their position in this case of U.S. versus Texas. So they are injecting every American who pays taxes into this fight, even though most Americans support a comprehensive fix to our immigration system. Why would we want to use taxpayer dollars to go litigate? These days, it seems that my Republican colleagues in Congress spend more time and taxpayer money filing partisan lawsuits and legal briefs than working to pass the country's must-do legislation. We've got a budget to do. We should be passing jobs legislation. And yes, we should be fixing a broken immigration system by passing comprehensive immigration reform. Congress does a deed to file a legal brief lobbying the Supreme Court to fix our broken laws. Most Americans know through their high school civics classes that the Constitution vests in Congress the power to make or change any law without having to hope or wait for the Supreme Court to bail out Congress for not doing its work. In fact, today, Speaker Ryan said, and I quote, the legislative branch of government needs to be the branch making our laws, not the executive. He's absolutely right. So rather than doing legislation to file a lawsuit, let's do our job, which is to make the laws. This Republican Congress, unfortunately, is completely out of step with the interests and expectations of the American people. It's time to legislate, not to litigate.